understand. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we will celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Borromeo Bishop. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why then do you judge your brother or sister? Or why do you look down on your brother or sister? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us shall give an account of, what, of himself to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Please stand. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. 
And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house searching carefully until she finds it and when she does find it she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them rejoice with me because i have found the coin that i lost in just the same way i tell you there will be rejoicing among the angels of god over one sinner who repents Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gumaga po muli sa ating lahat. Ano po ba ang hinahanap ninyo? Meron po ba kayong hinahanap sa buhay? Malamang po marami sa atin dito. Baka nga lahat tayo dito merong hinahanap sa buhay. And whatever that thing is, malamang kapag ka nahanap natin yon, dito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng saya. Ang sarap nga naman talaga ma may experience yung gano'n, ano? yung hinahanap mo at natagpuan mo. Nakakagaan ng pakiramdam. Mahirap kapag hindi mo nahanap yung hinahanap mo. You will be restless. Hindi ka mapakali. And you will be putting much effort para lang mahanap yung bagay na yon. Naalala ko one time, nung ako'y bata pa, Meron kaming celebration sa bahay. I think it was a birthday or anniversary. And my mother was so busy preparing you know, everything para sa mga bisita. Sa kabisihan ng nanay ko, hindi niya napansin na nawawala yung isang anak niya. Hindi po ako yon. Marami kaming magkakapatid. Nawawala. And when she realized na nawawala yung anak niya, talagang nakita ko yung nanay ko restless na restless. Hinalughog niya yung buong bahay. Kahit na yung mga lugar na tingin mong hindi na naman talaga siguro mapupunta yung kapatid ko doon, talagang pinuntahan niya. Hinanap niya sa buong buong village namin. Pinagtanong-tanong sa mga kapitbahay, pati sa barangay. Hindi niya mahanap yung aking kapatid. So she was so restless na tumutulo na yung luha niya sa paghahanap ng kanyang anak. And lo and behold, dumating yung yung kapatid ko sumama pala sa isang bisita na masyal sandali at nung natagpuan ng nanay ko talagang naramdaman mo yung atmosphere na hi nandito ka lang pala that you are already comforted kasi nahanap na niya yung hinahanap niya yung kanyang minamahal na anak kaya ganun yung pagkaramdam ano, kapag meron tayong hinahanap tapos nahanap natin ang sarap ng pakiramdam kaya tayo na mga naghahanap, o ano man yung hinahanap natin, siguraduhin po nating nahahanap yung hinahanap natin. Kasi posibleng naghahanap tayo nang wala naman talaga o hindi naman talaga nahahanap. Kapag ka ganun, most probably, tayo ay maliligaw. Kaya sa mga hinahanap natin, tingnan nga natin kung ano yung mga yan, sigurado ba tayong mahahanap yan. Father, isa sa hinahanap ko ang Panginoong Diyos. And that is something very good. That we realize that we need to search God always in our lives. Kaya we exert much effort. 
Kaya yung usual reading ng ating gospel sa araw na ito, no? itong lost coin, lost sheep. Madalas ganun yung understanding, we need to keep looking for God in our lives. Kahit saan man yun, hanapin natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. And that is something good. But looking much more deeply in our gospel today, I think the message for us is this. Na bago pa tayo maghanap ng Diyos, o bago pa natin hanapin ang Diyos sa mga buhay natin, the good news is that He has been looking for us even before we try to look for Him. Hinahanap na tayo ng Diyos noon pa bago pa natin hanapin siya sa buhay natin. That is the good news. Hinahanap tayo ng Diyos. At magiging masaya ang experience ng paghahanap kung yung hinahanap ay nahahanap. Kaya para maging kumpleto ang experience sa paghahanap ng Diyos, kailangan nating magpahanap sa Kanya. Kasi pwedeng hindi tayo magpahanap. We continue to be lost. Eh paano ba magpahanap sa Kanya? Paano ba magpahanap sa Kanya? We need to become the lost coin and the lost sheep para tayo mahanap. The lost coin and the lost sheep. The lost coin somehow represents realizing that we are lost. Kasi pwedeng nawawala tayo pero ayaw nating i-recognize na nawawala tayo. Para tayong lost coin na hindi nagsasalita, walang imik, nananahimik. Pero actually, nawawala. Kasi kung tutusin, mahirap aminin na tayo ay nawawala. Di ba? Kaya nga minsan, kami pumunta ng, meron kami pupuntahan sa Manila ng aming driver. Sabi ko, alam mo yung lugar? Opo, father, alam ko. At paikot-ikot na kami doon sa lugar. Alam mo yung lugar? Opo, father, alam ko. Nang beses na kami pabalik-balik sa dinaanan namin. Hanggang sa huling tinanong ko, alam mo ba talaga yung lugar? Hindi po, Father. Talangin mo nga si Waze. May hirap aminin na tayo ay nawawala. Nananahimik lang tayo. Kailangan aminin na tayo ay nawawala. Kailangan makita yung saan ba tayo nawawala. Yan yung unang stage then we need to become the lost sheep for us to be found by God. Kapag ka yung lost sheep nawawala, hindi yun parang coin lang nananahimik, ano? Continues to bleed. Continues to make sounds and noise. When we realize that we are lost, we need to beg God for help through prayer. We need to make sound, that sound of prayer, not only from our lips, but from our hearts. And if realizing that we are lost is something challenging, mas difficult pa siguro sa tao to make that plea of help from God. Parang umabot na kasi tayo na sa point na parang feeling nating tayong tao eh talagang very powerful. Na lahat kayang-kayang gawin. And that is something true. At some extent, we can do many things. But not all. Not all. And sometimes many are living in that illusion. Oh, kaya kong gawin lahat. Hindi ko kailangan ng tulong ng Diyos. Kaya nga nakakalimutan ng Diyos. Kailan nagkakaroon ng pagkakataong ganun? Eh, pagka nalugmok na talaga. Pwede namang hindi kailangan mapunta sa kalungmukan. Eh. 
para tumawag ng tulog, para tumawag at humingi ng gabay. We need to be like the lost sheep who continues to make sounds for the master to hear it or to hear it. Kaya tayo kailangan din ganun para tayo ay mahanap. Kapag nangyari yun, it would be a very wonderful experience. Not only from God, not only for God, but especially for all of us. Because we will be back to His bosom where we truly belong. Sabi nga ni St. Augustine, Our hearts are restless, O God, until it rests on you. So mga kapatid, ano po ba ang hinahanap natin? Nahahanap po ba yan? Ang sigurado po ako, tayo ay hinahanap ng Diyos. Sana po, magpahanap tayo sa Kanya. Tayo po tayong lahat. The Lord is the shepherd who knows each one of us by name. Let us offer our prayers to God, trusting in His personal love for us. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be a living sign of genuine concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have drifted away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people who have wandered into vice, crime, or prohibited drugs may find their true self and dignity and return to the house of God through forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer or are tried by sickness may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Hear our prayers and bless each one of us in the way you know best. May we follow wherever you lead us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, 
outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so may you make us abound in good fruit by our works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Charles Borromeo, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please name. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, Saint Charles Borromeo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please me. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should that enter, you under, should my enter roof, under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the credo of stewardship. Together we pray. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church, in spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am the steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po'y magpapasalamat sa ating lector, commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic minister. At sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito, Maraming maraming salamat po. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at mababaunin niyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.